Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode number six of Let's Play The West African Pagans, Mali. We have another son. Goodness gracious, this woman. Look at this. Son, 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 daughter, son, son. Abi Bakr. <laughs> it's a damn good thing I didn't get any concubines. Can you imagine how many children we'd have? Combine, combine. Let's go and 500 should be sufficient to sack this town. He's got about 400 and... what, 20? Yeah. So we're gonna have to siege through it. We can't just loot it. We've got to actually burn the building down. Um, but we can we can loot now, which is good. And I've got another child who's my daughter. My attractive daughter needs an educator. Sure, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll educate her. My vassals are still upset about the previous levies that I was raising, so... That's why I'm trying to give them a break. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm not going to do this Ultimo Genitor thing, because I don't think that that's supposed to be that way. I think it's kind of a, a bug. I mean, it says right in the description of our religion that we are limited to Gavilkind succession, so I don't I don't even know why that, that Ultimo Genitor shows up. Um, let's see. I am now 41. I did not take bonus health, so my character's probably not going to live to be... 70. He might, but he'll probably make it to about 50 or 60. And... Really, the only advantage to creating the Kingdom of Mali right now would be that I would have access to minimum crown law. I would have access to... I'd gain a thousand prestige for creating it. Plus, I'd also gain even... I'd gain more than that, too. I'd gain, uh... I'd gain 400 for creating it, plus a thousand for accomplishing the... Um... A thousand for accomplishing the ambition. But we'd also lose 200 piety. And my priests care about piety. Is that a response team? Probably. Okay, so Umayyad probably unhappy with me for looting. Pillaging... pillaged my lands. That's not past tense, bro. That's... that's current tense. Apparently there's a Catholic Bosque in here. She's married... she's married to the former Caliph. Or the former Sultan, and she's willing to join the plot. So let's see if we can, uh, maybe get some supporters here. I might have to spend money on this, but... If we can bribe a few people... I guess that might actually be good justification for creating the kingdom, because then I would have 10 more opinion with everyone. Like, his opinion of me is 22. My state diplomacy score is fantastic. My prestige is only plus 11. An extra thousand prestige would push that up by 9 points. That might be worth it. Alright, fine. I've convinced myself. I'm gonna create the kingdom. I know I said I wouldn't, but, um... We don't need 500 gold for the mercenaries anyway. We only have one mercenary band to hire. All right, so now we're a king, which will also help out with technology. I'm not going to raise crown law quite yet, even though now I can't actually appoint army leaders anymore, temporarily. But I want to keep the opinion very, very high. Creating the kingdom doesn't affect opinion with anybody. Um, although I have too many held duchies. Apparently I hold three. So, let's take a look at our du jour duchy borders. So we hold this one. We hold this one. I want to keep that one and this one, probably. Which means that I've got to get rid of Songhe. So... This guy already owns two of it. He loves me, so let's make him our duke. He's gonna desire that county, but I'm not gonna give it to him. Because when I die, one of my sons will inherit it and will be a vassal to him, and that's okay. So he's going to be upset with me for holding on to that duchy, or that, uh, sorry, that sheikdom of Gao, but I'll just have to deal with it. And my second born became a gray eminence, just like me. See, now that's how you're supposed to do it. Why are you such a disappointment? How come the first born is always so disappointing? You can't, you can't plot to murder him either. Why didn't you join my plot? I know I invited you. Okay, so we've accomplished the ambition. There are no valid ambitions anymore. The 
even though we've picked up all of that... Uh, oh, I did get two people. The Sultan. Oh my gosh. So he took this Portuguese Catholic woman as his wife. And, uh... Sultan of Andalusia. Huh. Yeah. His wife's trying to kill him. She apparently hates him. Sultan... Sultana Marta. She hates him. She, apparently he fired her from consul, and, uh... He's an infidel, and... She is... Deceitful. I'm actually getting a pretty pretty decent plot power here. Let's see if we can find someone who's got a plus next to his name. Those are the ones that are the easiest to turn. So that means that they don't like him. Ah, see, like that guy right there. He doesn't like his, his liege. <clears throat> I don't think I can overcome that, though. And the plot power is not very strong. This person could maybe do it, but... Sultana... That's one of his other wives. Hmm. That's not cool. All of his wives don't like him. I mean, it's not cool for him. Good job making this guy like me. Lavernius. Fancy pants. We're also getting more technology for being a king, which is good. I do think we'll pick up... Not construction, because I don't do anything with that. Church infrastructure. We'll help out the, the, the churches. And I don't think that becoming a king affected my... No, it doesn't. I don't yet see a response. There it is. Okay. My wife's pregnant again. How much you want to bet it's a boy? Go ahead and play with swords. My daughter. The attractive, brave girl. And by the time he gets down here, I think we'll have already sacked it, so... I'm not going to get over-aggressive, though. I'm not going to, like, go and get myself caught over in Idjil, like I did in the previous playthrough. We're going to sack this one. We've just taken some money for sieging it. Now we're going to drain down the loot. And as soon as that's gone, I'm going to just retreat. Maybe go up here. Maybe just check it out. I just want to attack the counties that immediately border me. Because I can't even loot this one. My chief Majan of Gurma is a plotter. He's trying to fabricate a claim on the Emirate of Mali. Hmm... I'm at minimum crown authority, so I can't revoke titles. I'm not willing to raise crown authority quite yet. I could throw him in prison and then ransom him. I think that's what I'll do. I'll take the money. Foolish man. He still likes me pretty well, but minus 50 for imprisoning him. We'll just keep our, our uh, Chancellor there, try to improve relations again. In just about 16 more days or so, we'll have drained all the loot from this county. Alright, time to go home. That's going to take a couple of years for it to replenish. Looted until 893. Three years. Now, do I want to risk going all the way up there? I don't like how exposed that is. There's four counties that border this one. Uh, let's see. He's 46. Content, gregarious, kind. He's a, he's a nice man. People like him. But eventually he has to die, even if I don't do anything. I wonder... If I declare war, he's going to have to come down here and fight me. And when he does, he could just sit around and be defensive, and eventually he'd get a ticking war score and he'd win. But let's just say I declared war, and if I lost, then I wouldn't lose much. I would just lose some prestige. I wouldn't lose any land. 
and I could always retreat into the safety of our our territory. Probably the best thing would be, uh, is this still, yeah, this is all still West African, so religion-wise, we'd have our defensive bonuses here. And, because I'm a pagan, he would have attrition penalties here. I think I do need to declare... I, I need to attack him now, even though he's got this ridiculously large army, 30,000 men. Those 30,000 men mean nothing. Not when he's fighting down here. Let's chance it. This might be a mistake, but let's chance it. We're going to do a conquest, not a du jour war. I don't want to become the new liege, I want to take it. I'm going to do a conquest of this, this county. It's already very weak because I just burnt it to the ground. We'll go ahead and raise up the men that we do have. I'm going to start pissing off my vassals again, but... Hey, it's a daughter. Attractive? No, oh, this one has a stutter. How, how disgusting. What a disgusting child. So yeah, so I've got... Um, what do I have? I've got... 2,089 troops, and I can hire these mercenaries. These are reserved for just the Africans. So, 4,000 men versus 30,000, but he's got a 95% supply limit penalty in my territory. In any territory that's considered West African, which would be all of this. So, worst case scenario, it's a long, long, long war where he only wins because he gets the ticking war score all the way up to 100%. Because I'm not going to battle him unless it's a really really favorable position for me to be in. He is coming down through my land. And right when he gets here, we should see that penalty kick in. Or not. Apparently he can actually support 6,000 men here. Interesting. I may have just made a severe error in judgment. Oopsies. And yet, it's still... Oh, gosh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's all I have to say about that. Alright. What is it? Oh, God. There's a peasant revolt. Come on. Okay, no being cruel, you pretty, pretty thing. I'm gonna beat her a bit. Okay, we'll just disband and, I don't know, let's see. Do you suffer attrition if you come into my land? You should. Come here. Go ahead. I'm kind of experimenting a bit. No attrition. Come on. I thought... I'm considered to be a pagan, aren't I? I am. The West African faith. Low-tech non-pagans have a very low supply limit in pagan counties. This is a pagan county. You are a Muslim. Why do you not have a penalty? Well, let me do some quick mental math. I know you're not supposed to do math on, uh, on live TV or whatever, but... We have 2,000 plus... that's 4,000 men. He's actually assaulting already. 4,000 fighting with the defensive bonuses that we get could maybe beat 8,000. Or I could just lose everything. We gotta give it our all. Let's give it a shot. Hire the mercenaries. Oh, crap. He's already assaulting and he's gonna come catch my army off... off uh, The 55 can't make it in time. May 31st, June 1st, okay. Okay. 8600 versus 4100. This might be a really bad idea. But if we hang out where there's water, maybe? Yeah, there's, there's a river crossing between here. I'm going to bait him into attacking me in Dijen. My son wants to be my Grand Vizier. I agree. My courtier wants to be my steward. Over my duke. 
No. I don't want my son leading troops. I do want him improving relations in Timbuktu. Actually, Ulata, but... Okay, this is going to fall very quickly. And here it is. It's primed for the taking. Come get me. Come at me, bro. Okay. No, I... Oh, God. I've got to do it. got to raise crown law. I'm going to take a pin opinion hit. I'm going to put myself in the center flank. I'm going to put the mercenary band underneath me. It's auto-balance. And then put the mercenary band underneath me. Very strong center flank. I'm going to put myself in charge of the center flank, even though... What are my combat modifiers? Not that great, but I've got 22 marshal. Would this guy be better? Oh god, yeah. That guy's got leading the center. And morale defense. Look at that. Jeez. And this guy's got... Nothing. How about you? No one else really has any fantastic modifiers. Mm, number five. The fifth virtue is pretty good. Patience. Extra 27% defense. This guy's brave. I guess we'll go with... Uh, Go with me on that flank. Morale damage. I'll probably get killed, but... Okay, let's, uh... Should we, should we do it now, or should we wait till the next video? <laughs> we'll do it now. I'm not gonna do that kind of a cliffhanger. That'd be dumb. Okay, here it comes, though. The true test of the West African pagan defensive supply bonuses and all that stuff. River crossing. Oh, no! There's more men coming! Crap! Alright, so he's got a river crossing. We're on the bottom. We've got a beastly guy. And let's just check, see if we're getting those bonuses. Defensive religion and home territory, plus 80%. Oh yeah. It's just a defensive bonus. It's not an offensive bonus. So what I'm hoping is we'll see, like, the morale just be... Nah. Getting our butts kicked. And here comes the other men. Yeah, this is not gonna... This is a bad idea. What's gonna happen when I lose? <laughs> we pay 268 gold. Yikes. Now this guy is doing good. I mean, his morale was holding, but... Not against 15,000 men. Alright, fine. It was worth a shot. White piece! We'll... <laughs> we'll, we'll white piece you. Alright, so we lose 200 prestige. We lose 268 gold. And, uh, we won't be able to attack him again. We surrender. What happened to the pagan pen the defensive bonuses? I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Now, he just disbanded his men. Instantly. Did that at least reduce his army size? No? 37,000. Fantastic. Oh, that's disappointing. I don't understand, though. I mean, the numbers... They, they, <clears throat> they should have worked. Alright, well, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching. See you soon.